Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Allie's Amazing Scents. If you're new here, my name's Allison, your independent Scentsy consultant, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my summer collection haul. We have a lot to go through, so let's get started. I have to admit to you guys, this is my second attempt at filming this, and so unfortunately, it's not like a true first time unboxing but we're just we're gonna go with it okay so um we're gonna start with the bars there were four scents available in the summer collection by the way as i film this everything from the summer collection is still available with the exception of one scent circle and that is um, coconut daiquiri so everything else is still available so we're gonna go through the bars first because um we'll talk about the summer scents a lot of the other products in this haul are that scent in different products, the summer scents, I should say. The first one we are going to um, sniff together is Blue Agave and Melon. This is nice. It is a very sweet scent. I don't know if it's the agave, but it is definitely on the sweeter side it also smells like it would be a fairly strong performer so blue agave and melon Scentsy says a sweet sorry a sweet desert oasis lush with blue agave honeydew melon and kiwi um so yeah that's really nice it is summery but it is very sweet the next one we have is Fiji Flower. It's this pretty pink wax. And this one is probably my favorite. I don't know. It's a toss up between this and another one, but this is really, really, really nice. It's a really nice, fresh floral. Um, it's not a powdery floral. It's a tropical floral. And I love it. This is great, and it smells like it's gonna be a strong performer. This is so, so nice. So let's see what the scent notes are for this one. Bear with me here for a second. Um, this is Fiji Flower, and the scent notes are a vivid lay delicately crafted with pink plumeria and pear blossom wraps around an air of apple. So I think I'm mostly picking up on the plumeria, which I do like plumeria. I know I liked it in plumeria peach. But then you do have a little bit of the sweetness from that plum and the apple. I can't really differentiate those on their own on cold. Mostly, like I said, just a um, really, really nice tropical floral. Not at all powdery. This is amazing. I love this. This is Fiji flower. The next one from the collection is the other one that I'm, it, it's a toss up if this one's going to be my favorite or, or the Fiji flower. And this is coconut daiquiri. Pretty um, yellow color. And this is a really nice fruity tropical. So where Fiji flower is like a floral tropical, this is a fruity tropical. It's really nice. It's creamy. I know it has banana in it, and so I don't know if that's why I'm smelling the banana so much, because I know it has banana in it, but it's like a banana coconut cream scent. And you don't really get, I know it's called coconut daiquiri. I can see where it's kind of like maybe like a pina colada, but I, I don't get like a boozy note from it. So don't let the name um, scare you. It's, it's not boozy. Um, a tropical blend of coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream that's as refreshing as it is sweet. That is so nice. That is like the perfect hot summer day on the beach, relaxing, drink in hand kind of scent. Awesome. Love it. Um, and then the last one out of the four fragrances from the summer collection is called Mandarin Mango and Nectar. And this is um, an orange colored wax. I'm trying to find it here. Okay. I like this one. Honestly, though, it's probably 
my least favorite in wax of the scents because I'm getting, I think that mango is giving it a little bit of almost like a bitter note in the wax form that I'm not 100% crazy about, but it's still pretty nice. Um, and I am picky about mandarin and actually mango scents. So a melody of juicy mandarin, mango nectar and peach puree blend into an intoxicating fruity fusion. I wouldn't really call it intoxicating, but it's nice. And um, who knows once you warm it. Also, who knows what it is in different um, products. So those are the four um, new scents from the summer collection. Like I said, my top two is going to be close. Fiji Flower and Coconut Daiquiri. Okay, so let's keep going through the wax. Everything's kind of a mess here because, like I said, I already tried to film this once and it didn't really work out. So just bear with me. Um, I picked up a six pack of wax and then a friend of mine picked up a six pack of wax. So some of these are for her as well. Coconut daiquiri. I think I got two bars of that and then she got one. So coconut daiquiri for her. She picked up a vanilla bean buttercream because she loves bakery. This is a great scent um, to use as a mixer as well. I don't know what's on here. This is available year round. Um, and I believe it's a bestseller. And um, it's a bakery, but like I said, you can mix it with a lot of different things. Another Fiji flower. That one must be for her. This is definitely for her um, because I do not like this scent. And this is sea salt and avocado. One of the few scents that I really am not fond of. Um, it is a fresh scent and a lot of people really, really enjoy it. And I, I do like fresh. Um, but for some reason, this has, I think it has a bad scent memory for me. It reminds me of... If you go into um, like a gas station bathroom that has just been cleaned. So it's clean, but it's still a gas station bathroom. And I must have went to one sometime in the past that smelled similar to this. And so that unfortunately kind of ruined it for me. So I'm not a huge fan of this, but a lot of people really like it. And, and I do hope that she enjoys it. Another blue agave melon that must be for her as well. Um, another mandarin and mango nectar, also probably for her. And then I had to get myself a bar of clothesline. This is a, a great fresh laundry scent. Very strong. Oh, so good. It's a bestseller in the catalog year round. Um, I had a little tester, like the current size testers of it that I put in my warmer, my bathroom, and it lasted several days. And so after that, I was like, I need to get a full bar. And I've had this in the car bar clips and it was like the strongest car bar clip I've ever had as well. So I think this is gonna be great in my open concept and in my bathroom. Um, and then I went ahead and picked up a three pack of license bars in the Star Wars sense. Oops. Um, Star Wars collection launched May 4th, aka May the 4th for all the Star Wars fans out there. May the 4th be with you and um, may the 5th be with you if you're in Region 3. Anywho, I, I um, ordered these because I wanted to see if I should add them to my club. There was a couple that sounded pretty good and um, I never tried them before so with the release this year, I wanted to go ahead and give them a try. So I'll read you the scent notes on these um, and we'll smell them together. So we have, the first one is the newest one and it is, well, it's not brand new, but it's the newest one out of them and it's the Mandalorian Air of Adventure. So this came out like when the um, Mandalorian show came out. And if I remember right, I think it does have eucalyptus in it. So I'm getting not a super strong scent on cold. Maybe a light to medium of a sweet, fresh herbal. That's what I'm getting, which isn't really what I expected. And I'm not getting like eucalyptus out the gate, but that must be that herbal note I'm getting. Let's see what Sensi says. Silver mint, 
like Mandalorian armor, surround crisp bergamot and earthy sweet geranium, while a touch of eucalyptus and bright orange zest hint at adventures ahead. Okay, that is a loaded description, but basically it's silver mint, bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, and bright orange. So there is a lot of different notes in here. Maybe it's the orange that's giving it that little bit of sweetness. I don't know. I think this would be nice in a bathroom. Um, I thought it would be a little bit stronger, but we'll see when we warm it. Um, but yeah, that's, I like it. That's a Mandalorian Air of Adventure. And then we have the dark side of the force and the light side of the force. These can be warmed individually, or you can also melt them together, and they will make what they call Scentsy Purple. So they are kind of designed to be melted together, but you can do them individually as well. Um, light side of the force, I believe this is supposed to be like a fresh scent. You know, I'm not getting super fresh. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, I think it's Coral Waters, that uh, newer orange one. Actually, I have it right here. I might grab it and sniff it really quick because it, it's in my um, what I've been wanting bin. Well, I don't want to spend too much time looking for it, but yeah, that is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of that new scent to the catalog this season, Coral Coral Waters, I think. It's the orange one. Sorry, don't mind my mess here. Um, it definitely reminds me of that, which is an okay scent to me. This is nice. It's not as like fresh as I expected, which that's kind of how I feel about that one as well. Let's see what's in here. Maybe they must have, um, they must share a note or two. Feel the force all around you. It's here, there, in the orange groves, morning mist, and even driftwood at the ocean's edge. So we have um, orange groves, morning mist, and driftwood. And maybe some type of ocean scent. I just want to look really quick. Um... The new one that it reminds me of Coral Waters it has nectarine blossom peony bloom alongside bright clear coral waters. I don't know. That's weird because they're not the same notes, but that's what that one reminds me of. Comment down below if you guys um, have noticed that this reminds you of Coral Waters at all. Okay, this one, um, the Forest Dark Side. I remember reading that it had lavender in it and it sounded really good so I, I was really excited to try this one. That is good. That is really really good. It's like a masculine scent and it does have like a lavender note. Like you know how um, Marvel Nine Realms is kind of like a masculine fresh scent and it also has that lavender lightning scent note? That's Kind of what this reminds me of, but a little bit deeper. It's a deeper scent. More um, robust kind of scent. Okay, um, what does Scentsy have to say about this one? Feel the power of this fully armed and operational fragrance, churning with lavender, Madagascar ginger, vetiver, and arga wood. So I know vetiver is used in a lot of um, like masculine cologne scents. I think maybe the ginger is that as a note that I'm picking up in here. I don't know, but this is probably gonna go in my club. We'll see how it performs, but this is amazing. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So good. That would be really good in pods too in the car. I have Marvel Nine Realms in, in my car right now in pods and it's great. Okay, so that's it for um, bars. So, speaking of pods, um, we have some pods here. First of all, a dear friend of mine, um, she is a great friend, and she's also a customer of mine, and she ordered a mini fan diffuser, 
and some pods. I'm not going to open the mini fan diffuser, but um, it's basically a pod diffuser fan system. We have three different systems. This one, it's a really great option. It just, um, you can fit one pod in here, plugs into a USB cord, and you can basically use it anywhere. So I have um, used it in my car before. I Right now I have one in my laundry room um, near the cat box, which has like been the best thing I've ever done in that room. So good. And they last forever, the pods do. So she picked this up in slate gray, which is a new color to the catalog this season. And I think she's really going to like it. Um, okay, so then she got a three pack of pods and I got a six pack of pods. By the way, um, I got a really good deal on a lot of this stuff because it closed at a party. So if you're ever interested in um, hosting a Scentsy party, please let me know. I'd be happy to help set one up for you. And that's a great way to get um, free and half priced items. So side note there, if you're wondering about that. Um, but anyway, she got a three pack. She got vanilla bean buttercream because she loves it. <laughs> um, I'll have to go back and look exactly which ones of these are hers. Um, this might be mine, I don't know. But uh, Mandarin Mango Nectar. Yeah, there's two of them here, so one of them must be hers. So I'll just smell this one, because I think you know one of them is mine. And see, in the pods, this Mandarin Mango Nectar is sweeter than in the bar to me. In the bar, I get it's that a little bit of that bitter note, like the mango, raw mango-ness. This one is mostly just sweet, and I like that better. So that's a win. Set that one aside because that one's mine. And then this is hers too, I believe, black raspberry vanilla. Um, classic Scentsy scent. Can't go wrong. Number one Scentsy scent um, sales-wise of all time. So that's a great one. Um, and then we have a pod set in blue agave and um, melon. Pretty similar to the wax, still very sweet. Another one of those. Fiji flower. The pods did not come out in coconut daiquiri in the summer collection for whatever reason. Just so you know. So I think I wasn't able to get any of those. but mm, And that smells very true to the wax. Love it. I love Fiji Flower. I hope they have that um, at some point in the fragrance mist. Because that would be great in the body line. Um, another Mandarin um, and Mango Nectar. Oh, this is for her. This is Prickly Pear and Agave. This is a really, really great scent. Um... I, I really love that one. Let me read you the scent notes on it really quick here. Fruity category, prickly pear and agave is um, sweet as a desert sunset behind a dreamy veil of sheer petals. So in wax, the clamshell is pink, but the wax is green. And it's a really nice scent. My sister-in-law absolutely loves that one as well. And then another Fiji flower, which I'm not mad about. All right, um, we got three, we have three car bars. Um, I wanted to, well, okay, so first of all, funny story. My brother has become obsessed with um, Atlantic Air. As he's gotten more into Scentsy, through my sister-in-law, he's really become obsessed with Atlantic Air. And they had it in wax, and he liked it and stuff, but about a month ago, I borrowed their car because mine was in the shop. And um, as kind of a thank you, I put an Atlantic Air car bar in there when I give it back to him. Well, that was that was it for him. He he loves it. He said one day it was hot out, which is when these work best in the heat. Um, it was hot out, and he got in the car, and he said the whole car just smelled of Atlantic Air, just so strong. And he he loved it. And his words, not mine. He said, "I want Atlantic Air in all the things." And that just like made my heart happy to hear him say that. Um, and, and it, you know, true statement, it would be great in all the things, especially laundry if they ever had it. But to hear him say that, um, you know, he's really come around from like, you know, tough mechanic guy that doesn't, you know, care about 
since E2. Now he's he's in love with Atlantic Air, so it's a thing. Um, and this is described as a refined veil of ocean mist, sea salt, and white orchid. Great scent. Great scent. My sister-in-law has that in her club. Um, in wax. And then I got a car bar in Summer Holiday. This is a really nice summer scent. And it was out of stock for a while in the car bar. And so I wanted to pick it up since it was back in stock and give it a try. I believe this is in the floral category. Summer Holiday. Steal away to a sunny aisle bursting with lush plumeria, tiger lily, and sweet orange softened by vanilla and radiant amber. So it's a pretty unique scent. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's really nice. Alright, I got a six pack of um, scent circles. I like to give these out to my customers when they place orders. Atlantic Air. Fiji Flower. I think I picked up one of each in the summer scents. Blue Agave and Melon. Mandarin and Mango Nectar. Coconut Daiquiri, which is currently sold out. Sorry about that. And Clothesline. Um, my sister-in-law, she really loves the lavender, Lemon Lavender Rain in the essential oil. It's a nice calming scent. I'm not going to open it because it's not mine. Um, but they, it was out of stock for a while. And so it came back in stock. She wanted to pick that up. Lem Lemon Lavender Rain. Let me read you the scent notes. I bet it's in the calming. Yep, it's in the calming section. Sensei describes le Lemon Lavender Rain as lemon and lavender splashed with fresh dew drops. They were out of several lavender scents for a while, but last I checked, they're mostly all back. Okay, speaking of oils... We have a couple of the oil collections from the summer collection. One of them's for me, one of them's for a customer. I'll put the customers right there. Um, and we'll smell this together. So there's a few times a year in different collections where Scentsy will come out with special oil fragrances just for the collection, essential oil. I think the last time was the Valentine's Day collection, but then they also have one like in the winter collection and they had one last year in the summer collection which was the only thing I got last year in summer collection because that was all I could afford. But um, these are fun because they're a little three pack tin and they're a smaller size for you to try. <coughs> I really have <clears throat> a dry throat. Give me a second here. Sorry. Um, and these are fun. So they're little five ounce um, bottles instead of 15 ounce, but they still last a really long time. So we're going to smell these together and keep in mind that in the concentrated oil form before you mix them with water, they're very strong. So they may smell kind of bitter because they're not intended to be experienced um, in the pure form. You're supposed to diffuse them with water. Um, okay, so this is the size of the bottle, and actually, this is a full size, like a regular bottle. This is a 15 ounce, this is a 5 ounce. So they are smaller. Um, this one is called Totally Tropical. Let me smell it first here. Mmm, that's good. That actually reminds me of, a. Uh, like a daiquiri or a pina colada, something, I don't know, like a fruity white rum drink. That's really good though. It's not, it's not boozy, but it definitely gives me like the fruity summer drink vibes. Totally Tropical is perfectly ripe mango, papaya, and strawberry. We'll have you daydreaming of the tropics. Hmm. And you know, I'm picky about mango. And papaya can be very easily overdone. A lot of people think that about the scent beach, but it's not in here. I didn't even notice the papaya. Now I can kind of smell it now that I read it, but it's like sweet, ripe papaya. Not that like raw papaya smell. That's good. Mm -hmm. Excited. Okay, the next one is Bikini Martini. Speaking of drinks. 
I could see that being like a, a fruity drink as well. Not in a boozy way, but I'm getting more, this one I'm getting more of a pina colada vibe, like a creamy coconut. That's really good. A bikini martini. Ooh, I like that. Let's see what the notes are. Kick back with refreshing pineapple, yummy coconut, and a drizzle of vanilla. Okay, well that's basically a pina colada. I don't know if it, I'm, I'm trying to think like, does it remind me of pina colada cha-cha? A little. I feel like this is a little more coconut heavy and I'm, I'm here for it, I love it. Okay, and then the last one in the three pack is, wait, did we do that one? Totally, totally tropical. Yeah, we did that one. Sandal season. Ooh, okay, so those two were like kind of fruity, creamy. This is like a floral scent. This is really, really good. Ooh, I think this is my favorite. That's nice. So sandal season is described as tiara flower, fruity coconut, and sandalwood create the perfect beach vibe. So you have tiara flower, which must be a floral, coconut, and sandalwood. And I love, I love coconut and I love sandalwood. That is good. Oh, that's good. Okay, I love all of those, but yeah, sandal season is my favorite. This is a great oil collection, you guys. If you like summer scents, mm. it almost makes me tempted to pick up another pack. Well, they're still available, but I'll diffuse them and I'll, and I'll see. But um, beach mode, very happy to have been able to pick that one up. That one over there. Okay, moving on. The next thing in the summer collection I got was the Blue Agave and Melon Cream Shave Soap. Um, so Scentsy normally doesn't have like shaving cream in their in their catalog. This every once in a while it comes out. I have not tried it before, and let me just smell it. It it's not quite as sweet as the Blue Agave and Melon in Wax, which I. I kind of like, but honestly, I thought this would be in the, like, the body cream container size, not the hand cream container size. Um, I don't know. I hope it's really concentrated where you don't need very much because this is not a very big container. 2.7 fluid ounces. I mean, that's almost big enough to bring on an airplane without, you know, needing any special stuff, so... I don't know. I'm not going to knock it till I try it, but honestly, I, I was expecting a bigger container. Um, the next item, okay, we have a three pack of fragrance flowers. I did the bundle and save with those, which is always a way to go if you're looking for the best value. And fragrance flower, I'm not going to take them out of the package, um, but if you're not familiar with them, what they are is it's like a reed diffuser system. So it's like a little container of oil that you put these reed sticks in. And on the top of them are these handmade um, paper flowers. And as the reed soaks up the oil, it disperses into the um, paper flower and produces scent that way. And they're really pretty. A lot of people color them. They last forever. But they are designed for smaller spaces um, so they're great for like bathrooms I have one in my entryway where I don't have an outlet there's nothing to plug in so you don't need an outlet um, maybe a small office but but they're not gonna produce scent like a warmer like they're not room filling but they're super nice and they, like I said they last forever and my daughter um, gave some to a couple of her teachers this year and that was really a fun thing to be able to do so um, we have the Darling Dahlia, which is the shape of this flower, in Blue Agave Melon. I think these are all summer scents. I think there was like two summer scents in Fragrance Flowers. Blue Agave Melon. Fiji Flower. Pretty happy about that. I think this is another Fiji Flower. Yep, Fiji Flower. So, that's fun. Um, body. Back to the body. I got a body scrub in coconut daiquiri. A sugar scrub, I'm sorry, sugar scrub. I love the sugar scrub. 
it's so nice. Um, it is like an exfoliating body scrub um, to rub on your body and it makes your skin just so nice and soft. Um, I use it on my hands a lot in the winter. I like to use it on my legs before I shave because it makes them really soft. And um, I'm not making any medical claims, but my sister-in-law who's pregnant she's due in a few months here and she's getting a lot of baby she's a little gal but she's she's got a lot of baby and she's been using this on her stomach like throughout her whole pregnancy the sugar scrub and um she said it's just it's really nice because it helps so her stomach isn't itchy and dry and all that she also doesn't have any stretch marks yet and so she's like this will be an experiment to see if i use this throughout my whole pregnancy if i end up with stretch marks or not so that's just kind of a funny story. Like I said, I'm not making any kind of medical claims or anything like that, but for her personally, she's really enjoyed using that um, throughout her pregnancy. Um, the other body item that we have here is the Scentsy Soak and Coconut Daiquiri. I think this was also available in the Blue Agave or whatever it is. Um, and I'm glad that I got it in the coconut daiquiri. Scentsy Soak is a bath soak. It's like Epsom salt, really fine, almost like a powder, scented. Um, and it's really, really nice for the bath. So it says, pour a desired amount of Scentsy Soak under warm running water, about a cup. Soak for 20 to 30 minutes while enjoying your favorite fragrance. I currently have this in um, aloe water and cucumber, which I really like. I'm not a big fan of the bags because I feel like they don't seal that great once they open. So I got a little glass mason jar from Walmart and I put my um, Scentsy Soak in there. Not all of it. It didn't all fix. This is a two pound bag. So it's a pretty hefty bag. But I put it in that and then, I know we haven't got to this product yet, but I'll just show you. I used my scooper from Washer Whiffs. And I put that in my mason jar. And I did not come up with that. I saw it um, on a YouTube video and it works great. I think you could also probably use like for a scooper, um, like baby formula scoopers. Those are pretty much the same size as these. But anyway, that's the, um, the bath soak, the Scentsy Soak. And since I already just opened this, we're gonna talk about this next. So in the summer collection, they had um, a special limited edition laundry bundle. So I had to get it. They had it last summer too, um, in a different scent, which was, what was it, palm? I don't wanna say palm trees and ocean breeze. But that's not it. But um, it was a summer scent that is now in the catalog in laundry. So this year for their laundry bundle, they have Fiji flower. Can't wait to wash my clothes in this. Um, you get in the bundle, which you have to purchase it as a bundle, you get the laundry liquid, which is like soap to clean your laundry. And then you also get two of the smaller size of the washer biffs, which is what I was just digging in a minute ago. Um, this is a fragrance booster that you put in the drum of your um, washing machine before you put your clothes in and it just adds fragrance to your laundry so good um these are pretty full so i don't want to tip it too far but it's just these little tiny like salt granule looking things um that dissolve they're not like plasticky um they're really nice quality and i've i've become pretty fond of the scentsy laundry products so they're really concentrated you don't need very much so they do last a long time and I'm super psyched to have it in this Fiji flower. I'm loving the Fiji flower. So that is awesome. Okay, we're getting down there. Thanks for hanging, hanging out this long. Um, this is for my brother and sister-in-law, but my brother loves the Sunkissed Citrus in the cleaning line, um, specifically the counter clean. He loves the Sunkissed Citrus. So got another container of that for them. I know my sister-in-law likes it as well because she doesn't like to use cleaning products um, with bleach in it when she has her wedding ring on and the counter clean does not have bleach in it. Um, our cleaning products have 
like um, citric acid in them to help clean things and I guess this is just the directions but um, anyway counter clean it works great on so many things aside from counters and counters so speaking of cleaning um, in the summer collection they had a limited time cleaning bundle where you have to purchase they only have it in one set and you have to get it in a bundle with counter clean and dish soap and it is the mandarin and mango nectar so I picked that up um, counter clean love it you can use it on anything like I said I think I'm gonna probably use it next um, to clean my daughter's shoes because they got really dirty down at the river and it's it works great for cleaning shoes and then the dish soap and I do want to smell this to see if it smells the same as the wax or the pods see same thing in the dish soap I feel like it smells sweeter than the wax it doesn't I'm not picking up that bitter note so that's really great pretty excited about that and the dish soap is awesome it lasts forever in a day um, it makes doing dishes by hand fun almost I just noticed this so if you look at the um, the design on the container it's like little pieces of fruit that make a face do you see the eyes and the nose and the head and the hair? I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> it reminds me of like a, I don't know, um, Easter Island head or something. It's, it's fun. That's cute. I love their little attention to detail. All right. Two items left and they're warmers. First one, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to open it um, because it's not for me. It's for my sister-in-law and it is the glitter teal warmer. She loves glitter and sparkle, and she has the gold one. Um, I think in the current catalog, we have the rose gold and the silver, but this is the glitter teal. So limited time item, very sparkly, pretty, and it's like a rough glitter material in there. Like it's almost like a sandpaper consistency. At least that's what it looked like in the pictures. Um, so she is gonna love that. And then the last one, I had to get a warmer. <laughs> that I need one but I had to get one I had to get the um, mandala warmer and like I said I already tried to film this one since I already unboxed it so I have it all plugged in here and stuff but whatever I'll still show it to you so this is the mandala warmer really really pretty it is an Edison bulb 40 watt warmer so with those um, you're gonna definitely get great performance the other thing with the Edison bulb warmers is um, the bulb, the Edison bulbs are like this cool antique looking bulb with like that um, kind of yellow hue to them. So that's part of the aesthetic of it. And so a lot of the 40 watt warmers are designed to be see-through so you can see the bulb and that's intentional. But here's just the warmer. And here's the dish and the dish um, has a four on it so up to four cubes slash four cubes for ideal performance I usually use two or three but you'll notice although it's a clear dish around the edge here it has like that crimped golden edge and that is because this, this is supposed to be like a mason jar so that's like part of the lid for the mason jar and look at that so when it's off it's gorgeous you have the mandala um design on it which is quite popular right now very pretty and it's an iridescent purple color and i love purple so that was part of the reason i had to get this <laughs> um i i have some ideas where this is gonna look nice and yeah kind of that iridescent see-through purple that's what it looks like off let's turn it on there we go and it is bright as it is intended to be where you can see through and see the bulb but that's so pretty I just think it's I don't know I just I love the vibes that this gives off um this would look really great in my library although I kind of want to put it in my living room where I can see it more 
I don't have an actual like library room, but I have a little like library nook with purple and this would match perfect. Anyway, it doesn't matter where this goes, it's gonna look great. <laughs> I love this, I'm so excited, I'm so glad I got it. And then you'll notice there's this little notch in the back here. That's where you put the cord so it sits flat. This is a thick glass. This is pretty heavy duty. Um, well made and it's pretty good size. I think it's like seven inches versus like the standard six, maybe even seven and a half, but a good size warmer. Um, this is cool. I, I haven't seen any unboxings of this warmer, so to be able to see it in real life for the first time like this is awesome. And I'm, I'm very impressed. This is still available too, if you guys like it. So once again, here it is off, okay. And on. And it has that same design on all sides. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So that is my summer collection haul. Um, if you have stuck with me for this whole video, thank you guys. And it was a long one, had a lot of stuff to share. Um, but I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing to my channel and comment down below. Let me know if you've gotten anything from the summer collection, what your thoughts are on the scents. Is there anything that you're eyeing that you haven't purchased yet? I would love to know um, you, what you guys think of all this. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. Have a great night and I will talk to you later. Bye.